Hey everybody, this is Mystery, and you know what time it is? It's time for a new video. This video is going to be something out of the ordinary. I'm not going to be giving you any news. I'm going to be giving you a movie review. Now, this may be the first and only time I ever do a movie review on a Wednesday, and not like a Saturday or a Sunday, because I just completely forgot, and I didn't think about doing this movie review at the time. Now that I have, I'm thinking I'm going to make this a Sunday or Saturday weekly thing. So, without further ado, let's get to the movie. The movie that I watched and am reviewing right now is That Awkward Moment, starring Zac Efron, Miles Teller, and Michael B. Jordan. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Oh my goodness, you went to a chick flick. But actually, it's not a chick flick. It's more of a dude flick. A, or like a movie for dudes that that don't like the acting and stuff when they have when guys have a more softer side to themselves and it's like oh this is a great movie to go to it's mainly about Zac Efron's character is the guy that will never get in a relationship Miles Teller is character is more the comic relief guy who won't get in a relationship but has this really close female close female friend of his then Michael B. Jordan's character is someone who is getting a divorce with his wife. In all of their storylines, when I was actually first started watching the movie and I saw each of their storylines, I was like, oh, I know how it's going to end. The ending was what I predicted. And so, it was good. It was good to, it's bad to predict, the, it's bad when you're able to predict the movie or the ending of the movie, but then at the exact same time. When you watch a superhero movie, you're kind of predicting, oh, the good guy, and if you say, oh, the good guy's going to win in the end, you practically predicted the ending of the movie. So, it was, it's good to sometimes, um, be able to predict the exact ending, but then it's bad for certain movies. This movie was a surprise to me. Um, I was expecting that I wasn't going to like it, that I wasn't going to laugh as much as I did, but... I did. I laughed. I enjoyed it. It's, again, it, some review, I saw a review that practically said what I said, which is, it's a dude flick, you know, but another review I said was, I uh, saw that said, um, it's a movie to where only frat boys would like it, who keep scores like, oh, oh, I said this girl, I said this girl, I said this girl. In my opinion, it really doesn't matter. I mean, I'm not based on my appearance. I'm not one of those guys that really cares about who they slept with. Hey, but um, if that were the case, I'm one of those people where I don't care. So it's yeah, it's it was a good movie. It was entertaining. To me, the standout performance was Michael B. Jordan's character, um, and yes, it was rated R. It wasn't that much nudity, as well. Probably with a rated R movie and it being a chick flick and being the way it is, you would expect there would be some nudity. There wasn't any nudity. Only thing there was was male nudity, and that was in a scene to where to the Zac Efron character and the Miles Teller character took too much Viagra and had to. He um what laying like actually horizontal on the toilet. So that was that that was an amusing scene actually. That made me that scene made me laugh a little bit. But the movie was overall it was good. It it was a movie where I could just watch it one time and be fine with it. But it was a good movie. I enjoyed it. The plot points was somewhat entertaining. The plot point with Michael B. Jordan's character and his ex-wife, they going through their little thing. It was, to me, that one, that storyline was more of something that I would rather watch. And I feel like that entire plot line in and of itself could be an entire film and all that. Like, because there are multiple movies like that anyway, where it's like two people split up and then, like, they do that little thing where that could be an entire film in and of itself. Zach Efron, well, each storyline could be their own film. 
but I just feel like the Michael B. Jordan one would be like a stronger, solid, most solid film. Zac Efron's storyline was, uh, he's a playboy. Oh, a girl. Oh, he just meets a girl. He has sex with her. And then, um, when you keep on watching it, it's kind of like, oh, it's that thing to where, where it, uh, to him it was just one night stand, but he began to begin to feel feelings for her. And the Miles Teller character, where his best friend, or one of his closest friends, who kind of like his wing woman, you know, they get in a relationship. So it, it's, you, uh, to the comic book audience, they may not like it, but to the people who just want to go watch a movie, for no reason, and maybe just want to get a quick laugh in or something like that. This is a movie to go watch. Out of my rating system, which is two thumbs up, one thumb up, sideways, one thumb down, two thumbs down, um, I would give it a sideways thumb, which means um, you could either buy it or rent it. If it when it comes out, you can either buy it or rent it. It it really depends on where you go or how you prefer it movies like that so you can either rent it or buy it it's up to you but yeah that's my review I give it a sideways thumb so if you like this video click that little like button if you want to watch more videos go to the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and then just go watch my other videos on the channel but until next time I'm going to try to do a video tomorrow don't know what it's going to be about yet but yeah, until next time, this is Mr. E, signing off.